What's good, crazy emulation? We back at another emulation video. This is Insulate Double Football 11 running on an RPC S3 emulator on an ROG. I just want to let y'all know that this thing has been handling PS3 very, very, very well. And I hope to show y'all more videos involving this down the road. Uh, keep in mind with this gameplay, there were some graphical artifacts. I'm still trying to figure out what setting can get rid of them. Um, this is probably the only game I've had this issue on, so I'm gonna just keep looking for it and I will update the settings that I post in the description down below. There'll be screenshots um, via Google link. Uh, that way you guys can just copy the settings that you're looking for if you wanna use this on any other device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll holler you at the very end. EA Sports, it's in the game. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth, and we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at Tiger Stadium, these fans are anxious to see this game get started. First, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And out comes the offense. He's on the run. And he tackles him hard to the 44 yard line. Well, I think this time he knew he was probably going to take a shot, but he hung in until the last moment and delivered a catchable ball. That's exactly what you want to see from your field general. They'll go with the option. Tackle for a loss. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. A second on these play action fakes to get the defense out of position. That's how this tight end was able to get open and pick up some yards. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country and they are on their feet. Catches it for no game. They get three yards on the play. Well, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. That's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. From their own 30 yard line, it's first down. Dumps it out left to the running back, and he's taken down around the 42 yard line. There was good pressure coming in, but stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. Thank you. 
He's rolling right. Wide out makes the first down catch. And they make the stop, the 37 yard line. That'll do it for the first half. Neither offense could manage to get anything going here. And we head to the locker room, deadlocked at zero. NC State has the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He's to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. But now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Here's a counter play. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Maybe a few, but that's it. Second down, eight yards to go. He's rolling right. And he's taken down the 31 yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. They're changing the play. Toss. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I'm going to bet this running back is getting frustrated. You know he wants to be able to get into some open space. Unfortunately for him, he didn't get the chance there. LSU is up a score. He's looking to pass. 
Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. LSU is up by a touchdown. The offense calls a timeout. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Back to pass. He's scrambling. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said before, y'all see the paint graphical artifacts. It's crazy because this game runs really smooth. Um, I have it running at 18 watts. Again, a reason why I've been picking 18 watts because it's the sweet spot for me involving best gameplay and battery life. Um, this emulator, obviously, keep in mind, you don't have to at least run 20 watts or more. Um, this is just a spare of luck that this game runs at 18 watts. But y'all know PS3 emulation is very taxing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all the next one.